Hi everyone. It's time to generate our May prompts for the Mixed Media Morsels Misfit Makeovers Challenge. Here we go. So here we go. We've got everything listed out to have a quick reference. Our misfit item for today is going to be our clothing tag. Now when I say clothing tag, I basically really mean like a hanging tag, something that is hanging from something you purchase. So of course, you know, clothing, you're always going to have little price tags and um, and brand name tags hanging from clothing. So any of these type of items will work. However, if you don't have a clothing tag, there's also little tags that hang like from your embellishments. Um, this was uh, some other kind of art something. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, shoe tags. They were hanging from the shoes. Um, Hallmark item foam stamps so you get the idea any kind of little tag with a hole in the top where, where it was hanging from something is basically what I'm talking about so don't limit yourself it, it's got to be a clothing tag it doesn't it, it I'm just kind of thinking something that hangs from the item that you purchased and this is different than product packaging too there may or may not be <laughs> a product packaging prompt in our misfits this year so don't confuse that with a large type of product packaging like a cracker box or a, you know any other type of larger item this is for something that's on a smaller scale that typically hangs from your purchase the one that i'm going to use is actually a hanging gift tag and i've already gessoed it some to uh, eliminate some of that writing and then i decided that i was going to cover it so it really <laughs> ended up not mattering but it was kind of thick and so I've already like peeled off a layer of the um, the thickness of it so that's the little tag that I'm going to be using it's a little bit bigger than some but you know as I was showing you some sometimes you do get larger even on clothing so any size that works in your creation whatever you're making for your page works for me and then we also have a stamp with a found item which is, you know, anything that you might find around your house that you can use to stamp ink or paint or something with, right? Uh, sponges, this little um, shelf liner, non-slip type stuff, uh, scotch tape rolls. This is some more shelf liner type stuff that has ridges so it stamps little lines. Um, we got bubble wrap that obviously can be used. Uh, different sizes circles that come from like these are marker caps so that that works uh, here's another little bottle cap probably a spray bottle this was covering a spray bottle I guess and so you can get different size circles that way too. you know different little items this one was a fun one this is a button and it's got a little swirl design on it and I love this I glued the button to a cork to make myself a stamp and it works really good on the jelly plate also so that's uh, something you can keep in mind if you have a cool shaped button you can make a fun little stamp so just wanted to give you some ideas of what found items are it's anything that you can dip into paint or ink that will leave a mark when you stamp it pretty simple and fun okay 
Uh, the next thing, of course, is uh, pretty easy. Book text, markers, pretty easy. Washi tape, all of those are pretty self-explanatory. So anyway, I think this is going to be a fun one. And uh, we're going to get started. And I'm going to find my page. Here we go. All right. Now, my page is, um, I can't believe we're almost to the center of the book, you guys. We're almost to the middle of the year already. Wow. Um, anyway, I'm going to use this page. And since it already is book paper, I'm going to just consider this to be my book text. And I'm going to just decorate this. So the, uh, the, the first thing I'm going to do is use markers. Now I'm putting this little, um, putting this piece of deli paper in here just to protect the other pages because this is a short page. When I tore this out of my typing book, it left a pretty, pretty raggedy edge. So I just laid a ruler there and kind of tore it off. And I'm going to just put this under so that when I'm using my markers, I don't make a mess on any other pages or anything. So I'm going to do a fun technique that I'm sure most of us, I know I've done it before. It's just been a long time, but most of us have done this. And that is a smush technique where you just use um, like a cellophane. Where's my, here we go. Like a little cellophane sheet. I'm just going to use this as some uh, other, some more product packaging. <laughs> And you just get your watery color kind of wet, and then you just kind of stamp it and smush it onto your page. And that's what I'm going to do. And I think it's a fun, fun little technique. And it makes the most random marks. That's one of the things I love about it. It's just so random. So I'm just going to scribble with markers. These are just your basic Crayola markers. And I'm just going to scribble and then spray with water. And I've got some more crows outside today. I hear them. Um, and then I'm going to spray it with a bit of water. And then I'm just going to kind of stamp it on this page. And just doing some different shades of greens. All right. And here's my water. Just, I'm, I'm not soaking it, by the way. And that will save you a lot of drying time and stuff too if you don't just if you don't soak it. Just a little spritz uh, on each color is what I did. So I'm just going to stamp it down or smush it down. I mean, and then I'm going to keep doing that. And it keeps picking up the color. It keeps picking up what you've already put down, and, and it transfers it to another area. So I just love this. It's the fact that it's so random. You don't know what you're going to get when you're done, and yeah just just fun just so fun i mean there's no way you can get random any better than that <laughs> i think all right i like that and see by when you continue to pick up little puddles and continue stamping it kind of evens it out too and you don't end up with a lot of big puddly areas right okay and i'm going to also go ahead and wipe that off so i don't forget and try to use a different color sometime and have green all over it. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm going to dry this real quick and then I'll come back and keep going on my page. All right, that didn't take very long to dry at all, which is is nice and it also doesn't warp your page too bad because you have you've used very little water. Okay, I love that. I love all the color, the greens, the different shades. It's fun. <laughs> Okay. And what, a, what an easy way to do that. Fun way to use markers, right? All right, so we've got our markers done. Now, I, I was looking at washi tape, and I made a piece of washi. Uh, you guys, if you saw my most recent video using the little bits from the clothing catalog, I made some washi tape, uh, pretty similar to the way I was using the pieces uh, in that video. But all I did was... Um, pulled out a piece of double-sided tape and I just made it the length of my of my page and then tore it off and then I flipped it over after I tore it off I flipped it over and I just stuck some little bits of the clothing that I had cut out of the catalog and that's all I did so it the tape is on the back and it's it's kind of uneven and raggedy on the edges which is fine and fun so I'm leaving it like that and then I'm going to just stick that on this edge just because I think it'll be a fun little addition to the page. And look how pretty it looks with all the green on the page. Yay! 
Yay! All right, love that. Now, because I want this tape to not go over the edge because I don't want anything sticky on the back side, I'm going to turn my page over this way, and I think I'm going to try and, you know, put my tape on like this so that I can see where the edge of the tape is, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan. Let's see if it goes that way. Oh, don't drop it on your page. Ooh. Especially this old book text because it definitely uh, tears that page up. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue there because it did um, it did tear off a little bit of that page below. It's not bad, but I know it won't stick well if I don't put the glue there. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Can't get it unstuck from my hands. There we go. pretty good. I hope it is. Let's see. Okay. Yay, that's pretty. And I don't have any sticky on this side, which is what I was aiming for. Yay. Okay, good. All right. So now we have a little bit of washi tape. <laughs> And I may use some actual washi tape too on the page. It just depends on how it goes. I'm not sure exactly how all of this is going to play out yet. I, I thought I would just sit down and, I mean, I have an idea, but I thought I would just sit down and just see where it goes. Um, you know, wing it, play it by ear, whatever you want to call it. Fly by the seat of your pants. <laughs> That's typically how I'll play anyway. So let's stamp. Maybe I'll try the swirly one. And let's see. So this is an old mouse pad that I use to, to give a little bit of cushion underneath there. So let me get an ink pad. What do we want to use? Maybe some, I'll start with some light pink and ink and see if I like that. If it's going to work. If not, then I'll, I'll switch to a brighter one maybe. Let's just see what we get. Hmm, not seeing a lot. I might have to get paint out. But it may surprise me. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That worked. <laughs> that worked fine. I'm just going to put some in some of these um, lighter areas that didn't get the smush paint or the smush marker ink. <laughs> just for fun. No reason not to. Oh, these are cute. I like it. That's just so fun too, and it's so easy to use because you got a nice good gripper with the cork. And yeah, I really love it. Okay, that one kind of slid a little, but it's all right. And let's see. I'll put one over here. Okay, love it. Just a little fun stuff. And then that ink just wipes right off with a baby wipe. Just wipes right off. <laughs> it's great. So now I can move this out of the way. Now, as far as my tag goes, I thought that I'll, it, I thought that it would be fun to make it a little pocket. I'm going to put it up high though because its real purpose is it's going to be a birdhouse just because it has a cute little house shape i thought why not right and i've got a little little piece of cardstock that i'm going to use as the pole that it's that it sits on and um and i am going to glue it down as a pocket and then i'll tuck my prompts uh, card my little prompts card in the back all right, 
So first of all, I need to cover this, or I want to cover it. I don't need to, but I want to. So I've got some wood grain um, scrapbook paper, and I thought that would be fun. Looks like natural wood. I'm gonna glue that on here, cover it. And I'm still gonna punch the hole in my tag because I want it to remain looking like a tag so that uh, it's very obvious, you know, when you flip back through later and you look at it and you go, yeah, that's right, I remember I made a birdhouse out of a tag. That's so fun, <laughs> you know. So I could cover it up and, you know, and not see the hole at all in the tag and then I would not realize that, you know, years down the road. So I think this is a good way to do it and to keep it in my memory. <laughs> keep it in my memory better. Okay. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm going to this corner here and I'm gonna just turn my tag over right on top. Got it all stuffed down. And then I'll trim that out. Close up my glue. I just thought that would make the cutest little wooden birdhouse. So here we go. It's already looking like a little wooden birdhouse. <laughs> All right, let's get the hole put back in place. Need to move this back out of the way. There we go. All right, we are in business. Oh, very cute. All right, I found a bird image that I want to use. And it's this little blue bird. And he's sitting on a branch. I was going to put a little bird on a perch, but he's already on a branch. So I think I'm going to just, um, I think I'm going to act like he's on a tree maybe that's out here. <laughs> One of those imaginary trees that we can't see. <laughs> and, um, and put him there like that. Then we'll have a little a little black circle that I punched out of some uh, cardstock and I'm going to put that here so for the entrance you know to the birdhouse which I think is so sweet and I figured I could just draw a little perch on here this bird just happens to be sitting in a branch that's coming over in front of the birdhouse but I could still draw a little perch here maybe I'll pencil it in first and make sure I get it in the right spot so we'll say the perch would probably be about here. Yeah, why not? All right, so we're going to ink it in. Okay. So there's our little our little perch. It looks like a little piece of wood itself just by scribbling it inside like that. All right. So then he could sit on eat on the branch or the perch. I may have him, I may have this up higher like that and maybe have, maybe he could be down here on the branch. That might make more sense. Make it look better. And then we'll have the pole here to hold the birdhouse up. All right, now I'm gonna out, outline this little um, birdhouse also because I think it needs a little bit more definition.
I've got some little branches that are rub-ons and I thought I would use some of these as well. I think it'd be kind of cool having some branches kind of draping over the birdhouse. So I'm going to cut some of these out. So let's see. This one I actually thought might look good to have some leaves on that branch. But this is too long to do like that, so I need to cut I need to cut out this little bit here, I think. Alright, before I stick them down, I'm going to go ahead and put the birdhouse in place because I feel like it's going to move and, you know, all that stuff. So I cut some little cardstock strips because I feel like my little birdhouse needs a roof, a little bit of a better roof. I can still see the little hole here, so I'll still know that's my tag. <laughs> but I just think that looks so. Um, I just think that looks so much better having a little roof on it. <laughs> So I've got all, everything now as far as the prompts that were pulled. I've got the clothing tag or the, the hanging tag from a gift. Then I have um, stamped with a found item in the background here. I have book text. I used markers in the background. And I have washi tape, homemade washi tape along this edge. So I was looking in my washi tape and I think I'm gonna add some of this measuring tape or ruler 
tape to my pole. I think that's just so cute. It adds a little bit of fun and um, just a little whimsy to it. I like that. All right, let's just snip that off. I'll trim it better later, but I think I'm going to add that. Now there's a white edge on this that I'm going to just go ahead and take off because I'm afraid it won't stick down anyway because it's going to go right over the edge of that um, cardstock, which is thicker. So I'm just trimming that white bit off of there. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. Okay, so now we have official washi tape also. We have a handmade washi and official washi. <laughs> All right. I feel like I want just a little bit more leafy stuff on this house, on this birdhouse because it's so large. I'm decorating, he's, re he's renovating his little house, <laughs> and I'm helping. <laughs> Woo! Not what I wanted to do. These are very sticky rub-ons. I've never had any that are this sticky. See, that's already stuck down there. <gasps> Whoa! Yep, that one's stuck for sure. Okay, let's do, let's do this and cut that bottom piece off. Yeah, I've never had rub-ons that are quite this sticky before. But these definitely are. Just going to make the best of it here. See, it's stuck all over my fingers. <laughs> Just This is something very different from the rub-ons I've ever used. So if you get any of these little rub-ons, just be careful when you're using them because some of the newer ones are very sticky. Very sticky. Okay. So it's not exactly right, but you get the idea of a plant kind of being there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this one right here on, and hopefully we'll have it looking more like I was thinking. this one next to it and that will probably help help to camouflage that other one here we go here we go There we go. Okay, that's good. Looks more more naturey, more natural. <laughs> it was fun playing with the rub-ons. <laughs> I want to also add just a little a little quote. So, all about home. So we're gonna add some. This is just a word I had um, either stamped out. I think I stamped that. I found it in my box, and I'm going to get um, some words out of this Tim Holtz uh, sticker book also.
the punch wouldn't work so I'm just gonna cut my own little wonky heart that's what that punch is it's a little wonky heart okay let's see have to straighten it up a little bit because I got too many square edges here There. <laughs> so now we have our little heart. Very cute. Okay, let's glue it down. So that's my little page for May with the birdhouse tag. I love it. <laughs> and I'm very happy with how the whole thing turned out. It was so much fun to play and enjoy this. I'm looking forward to seeing how your pages turn out and what you create and how you alter a tag. And make sure you post those in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. And then we can all see them and all be inspired by one another. So take care everyone and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.